Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. Oh, it is Terrific Tuesday. It's that day in which God has blessed us. We've seen a powerful weekend. We're about midway of the week, and we're going to still give God the praise. On yesterday, we got a chance to hear a story about how God uses his prophet Samuel. Samuel anoints David. Today, let's talk about David. Look with me in First, uh, uh, First Chronicles, the 11th chapter, verses 1 through 9. Now, this is when David becomes the king of Israel. And so now God has called David and David is at Hebron. And while he is there, God does something powerful. He says, David, it's now time for you to walk into that position that I have ordained for you. My brothers and sisters, you know, God has ordained something for all of us, even in the midst of our current environment in the midst of all that's happening around us. Remember, God will insulate us and God will capture us right where we are, deposit within us what we need that we can go forth into what he would have us to do. Now, Saul is about to leave out of the office and now God is about to move David in where he needs to be. So David is now at this point in his life that the prophet has already anointed him. Now God's word of approval goes over him and David's about to step into what God has in store for him. My beloved, that lets all of us know that we have to step forward into what God has in store for us. We cannot sit back. We cannot st stand back and complacently wait, but we must go forward. Remember, David was being trained and groomed for this. David was a shepherd boy. He took care of sheep. He had to fight against lions. He had to fight against bears. He had to fight against all those things, wolves that would come against the sheep. He protected his sheep with such an ownership that I am the shepherd of these sheep and no harm will come upon them under my watch. God grooms him for him to know that Israel will be under his watch and he must make sure that he protects them. The text lets us see that as David goes his way, David now has to capture a city, a city that is known as Jerusalem. And so now David goes forward to capture this city. And as he go forward to capture this city, he needs to know that God is going to be with him. Everyone tells him this is almost going to be an impossible conquest. But David says, with God on my side, I know I can win. So David goes forward. He captures it. And after he captures it, he does such a wonderful job of doing it that he finds himself now getting against the greatest stronghold that there's ever been. He breaks the stronghold and now he assumes the leadership. He brings into conquest this new area. And because of that, he has all the land, the land of the Jebusites. And it is now renamed because David captured it is now called the city of David. David makes his house there. He makes his fortress there. He builds it all around it that it becomes impenetrable, that nobody can penetrate what God has done through and by David because David has the anointing on his life. David is walking in power and might and in victory. That lets all of us see when we have the anointing and the approval of God in our lives, we can walk in power and might and in victory because we give God the glory. David learned that he needed to ascribe all the glory to God and David does what God is pleased with. And whenever you and I do what God is pleased with, God will let his name be known and he will make his presence show. So today, walk into what God has in store for you, even in the midst of all the things that are happening around you, that does not keep you from doing what God has called you to do and to be. So be it and walk to it and walk through it. And God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you.